Hello there, and welcome to this new tutorial where we are going to be learning how to use Reclaim AI. Reclaim AI is a smart AI scheduling for busy teams, and it helps you to schedule automatically meetings, tasks, habits, and breaks without the normal hassle that you normally go through when planning through a normal calendar. Now, to get to Reclaim AI, you simply type reclaim.ai and I'll be leaving the link in the description of this video. And then once you get to this page, this is their homepage, you will come to the upper right corner and click on Get Started. And uh, Reclaim works best with your work email, so you will click on Continue with Google here if you don't have an account. And then you will put your Google account and then a password and then you will be linked to your account. And with that, it will be brought now to this homepage. This is the dashboard for Reclaim AI. So to begin with, if we click on the planner at the top here, this is how it looks like. You notice we do not have many things already scheduled here, but automatically the Reclaim has given the lunch time here uh, from from three to four, and then you have weekly design review. So basically this is how your schedule will look once you plan it with Reclaim. But we are going to be now scheduling it here uh, together. So we go to the tasks here. So on the tasks, this is where you now put your tasks. So for the open task, these are tasks that have not yet been scheduled. Then scheduled tasks means they have been allocated time. And then the mark done are the ones that you have manually marked done. So to create a task, you come to the upper right corner here. And then you click on plus, that is the new task. And then you give it the task name. For instance, let me say I want to do a task called edit YouTube videos. I'll type there the task name. And then the duration, how long will this take? I want it to take three hours. And then I can do the split timing here. Or I can just check or uncheck it. So the minimum time I want is uh, one hour and the maximum duration is two hours. If I don't do the splitting, I'll just give the working time here. So let me do the splitting. So I want it to be a minimum of one hour and a maximum of two hours here. And then the working hours here, I can now select the working hours here either for personal or even the normal working hours here. And then I put the starting date and then uh, the due date here. So I want this edit YouTube videos to be scheduled in my calendar either from now up to Thursday or I don't want it to be scheduled now. I want it to be scheduled from tomorrow up to Thursday so that now it will be automatically put on my calendar. And then down here, I can add notes here. If I click on that, maybe I can add notes here and maybe these videos need graphics, just the normal notes to remind you something about uh, whatever task you are scheduling. So if now I click on create, now notice we have scheduled it to happen between 8th August and 10th. Let's actually reduce this instead of 10th to be happening between 8th and 9th that way. Then we now click on create. And you notice now we get this notification. Edit YouTube video is scheduled already. So we can now close that. You notice we can create another one, but let's close that. And then we come back to our open tasks. You notice it is here, scheduled. If we click on scheduled, you notice it is here. So now you notice we don't have anything under pending scheduling. So if we go to our planner, back to our planner at the top here, and then we look at our calendar. You notice here, it has already scheduled for us edit YouTube videos at 12 p.m. here. So our activity has already been scheduled there. So I want to add a few more tasks so that you see how they'll be scheduled. And I want to schedule them for just a day. Let me schedule them within the day. So let me call this task Photoshop edits and then i don't want to do the split time and then i want it to happen between now and still between today still within today then i click on create then i want to add another one maybe i'll call it a b c task then again i want it to happen within today now and within today still 
then I click on create. So you notice I'm not even allocating it any time. I'm just giving it the duration here. Let me call this other task here X, Y, Z. And then I want this one to actually last for three hours. I type three hours there and then I want it to still happen within today. I click on that. Then I click on create. So you notice I didn't have to specify the time when my task will happen, but with Reclaim AI, it schedules all that. So if I close this, you notice what happens here. Photoshop edits today at 11 a.m. has already been scheduled. Uh, time left, I have one hour left. Due date is today. And then we have the XYZ project or shed task that we has been automatically scheduled for today, 3 p.m. And this will take three hours and the due date is today. Uh, and then you have the ABC task, all the tasks we have just created were automatically scheduled. If you now want to start the task, we can click on start the task now on this side, but we also have three dots here, which you can also do other things. You can prioritize, you can reschedule. Maybe you feel that this ABC task that has been scheduled for 12 p.m., I feel it's not the right time for such a task. So you simply click on reschedule or prioritize depending on what you want. But if you still maybe want to add time, you click on add time. So if I click on add time, uh, maybe I click there on 15, then I click on add, and this must be an interval of 15 minutes, then I click on that. So time has been added. You notice now our ABC task here has two hours and 15 minutes. So now I want to reschedule this same task, ABC task. I click on that then I click on reschedule. Maybe I feel that time is not really what I need. So currently it's scheduled for today at this time. Past events won't be moved. So I want to reschedule that with an adjustment of around two hours. I just click on two hours and then that one has been rescheduled again. So it's today at 6 p.m. But still within today. Let's go to habits. Now with habits, these are habits that maybe are just low priority or you can have the priority habits. For instance, lunch. You want your lunch to be scheduled. You can just click on that so that so that Reclaim AI schedules your lunch every day. These are habits. This is something that happens every day. You notice the duration here, you want lunch for between 30 to 1 hour. Between 30 minutes to 1 hour, you want it to be scheduled every day, Monday to Friday. And the hours should be between 11.30 and 2, categories, personal, and all this. So you can edit this schedule for your habit. So you want it to be still under lunch. And then down here, you want the duration to be between 30 minutes to 1 hour. Maybe we can say 30 minutes to 45 minutes. And then you want the time for your lunch to be scheduled between a certain time. Maybe you want it between 11 to 2, that's okay. But you can also change this to be between 12.30 to 2 p.m. If this is what you want from Monday to Thursday, or maybe Monday to Friday, you want your lunch to be between 12.30 to 2 p.m., you can click on Copy to All. You notice now how my planner looks like. Look at our lunch. Our lunch here has been scheduled at this time. Then on Tuesday... Wednesday, Thursday, Friday has been scheduled again almost at the same time because it looks at the next available free time. So you notice our Photoshop that we had added is here, lunch is here, and then if we scroll down, our projects are here, the XYZ project, the ABC task has been added here already. And so that is how you add habits. You can also schedule one-on-one -on -one meetings. You click on Smart One on smart one or one meetings where you can automatically find time for your one on one meeting and instead of booking another recurring meeting you allow reclaim to flexibly schedule your weekly one on one meetings next you can also do the calendar sync where you can start syncing your calendars so you don't get overbooked because you forgot to block time out of another calendar. So with the calendar sync, you are able to synchronize all your calendars. You may find that you had Google Calendar where you scheduled a meeting and then you forgot about it and you scheduled another meeting elsewhere. But with Reclaim, you can basically synchronize all those calendars so that all events can be seen in one planner 
at the top here. I hope this has been helpful. Kindly like this video, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.